Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Hearthstone. Uh, now this is because after April season 2014 I had achieved the rank of shield bearer. I did that off screen um, just because I already had so many, or so many episodes already recorded. And because I got to rank 20 I have earned a new card back. Uh, which whenever I read new card back or uh, this season's card back I always thought they meant pack for some reason. But uh, your rank from last season earned you 5 bonus stars. Uh, which means that in the May season 2014 has begun, I am starting off as an Argent Square, rank 23. And here's today's quest, uh, Druid, a Hunter, Paladin, a Priest, a Priest, a Warlock, which, eh, I mean, I'll do a Druid, I can do a Druid game or two, but then doing Priest would be hard. Uh, but anyways, um, so, like, I, I just looked at the quest or whatever, uh, Mage and Druid. Um, now, I don't know exactly where I left off in the last episode that you've seen, but, um, or actually, hold on a second, uh, let's go to options, and, uh, raise up the volume, because I had it off for some reason. Um, but anyways, uh, this is the new card pack, the Pandaria, so that now all my cards will have this back. Er, I said, did I say pack? I meant back. Um, uh, anyways, uh, again, I'm not sure where exactly I left off in the last episode, but this is, I, there's still some more episodes that I have saved and I'll probably upload, but I want to upload this first, um, uh, just because I really want to play this game and show you what's going on and everything. I've got 150 gold, um, which is what you need to play the arena. However, uh, let's see what it says in a second. Uh, the arena usually requires an interest fee, but because it's your first time here, it's on the house. Enjoy. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, what the arena is, is something I'm really not good at, uh, which, you know, might as well try a priest, because um, that's part of my quest. Uh, so I'm going to be playing as a priest. And now it's going to give me three random cards, and I'm actually going to go with the Questing Adventurer, because I like that card. Um, let's see, uh, this one I'd say is pretty good, pretty helpful, especially as a priest. Uh, so you turn sort of the health of the damage to a damage friendly minion, it's pretty good, or uh, friendly character. That is actually pretty good, uh, gain one health for every card in your hand. I like that card, but I've never been very good with it. Uh, Swap the attack and health of a minion. Also pretty cool, but I think we're going to go with a light well. Um, Nightblade, Mind Vision, Torn Warrior. Mind Vision, put a copy of a random card in your opponent's hand into your hand. I think that's really useful. Um, and just so you know, I'm really terrible at the arena and determining which cards are great and which cards are bad. But Mind Control, take control of an enemy minion. That is really helpful, even if it does cost 10 mana. Um, let's see, Holy Smite, deal to damage, or Shield Bearer, taunt with 0-4. Uh, battle card is a character, don't really care too much about that. It's really a decision between these two that I care about, and I think, at the moment, uh, having a shield bearer would be more important than dealing two damage, in my opinion, but I could be wrong. Um, whenever Secrets Blade gain plus one one, spell damage, battle card, draw a card, your, uh, charge, and battle card give your opponent a mana crystal. I don't think I should ever try to give my opponent a mana crystal, so I'm pretty much never going to get this card. Even if, uh, for three mana, having a 4-2 charge is pretty good, I'm going to go with the Azor Drake, um, just because of the spell damage and being able to draw a card. Uh, now here, deal one damage, cost one less attack for your weapon. I don't think the priest can use any weapons, so I'm not going to use that one. Um, let's see. Deal two damage or deal one damage with that. I think in this case, for one mana, doing two damage is better than this one, in my opinion. Could be wrong. I'm gonna go with that one. Uh, this one, the immunity attack is always equal to its health. That is amazing. Amazingly powerful for a priest uh, if you get the right cards around it. Uh, ooh, Battle Cry, give adjacent minions plus one, one, and taunt. That is really effective. I do really want to use that. But the Light Warden, whenever a character is healed, gain plus two attack. That is also really good. So I want to use that. Uh, specifically because I'm a priest. Now again, Questing Adventurer. I do really like that card because if I do play a bunch of cards, since I am getting kind of a, a lot of uh, one mana cards, um, he can get really powerful. However, Defender of Argus, that is really helpful because that gives plus one taunt, or plus one, one, and taunt, and I do already have uh, a Questing Adventurer. So I'm going to go with the Defender of Argus. And the middle card, um, I already know what it is. So here, silencing, silencing a minion, very powerful. Um, it can be very effective, but it is a little bit circumstantial, it depends on whether or not they're using a minion that actually needs to be silenced to be uh, disabled. Uh, deal 5 damage to the enemy hero, pretty powerful, and because of the Azura Drake, that can probably do 6 damage at some point. Um, however, doubling a minion's health, that I'd like to use on the, on the light spawn, because the minion's attack is always equal to its health. So I'll play it, uh, double its health, well, I'll play it, hope it lives, and then uh, on the next turn, it's able to attack, use uh, Divine Spirit, double its attack to 5, or to 10. Um, and look, another light spawn. Uh, and I don't really want stealth, 
and I don't use a weapon, so that charge is pretty much useless. Uh, so I'll get another life spawn. Very useful. Um, now let's see, mind games. Put a copy of a random minion from your opponent's deck into your battlefield. That's pretty cool. Uh, your hero, your hero power becomes deal two damage if already in shadow form. Deal three damage. Ah, uh, shadow form. That's what it means. Uh, battle cry. Give uh, or all minions lose to find shield. Gain plus three three for each shield loss. I don't think I have a lot of cards that have divine shield, uh, so I'm not going to worry about that. Shadow form, I'd rather heal than deal two damage, uh, so mind games is definitely more effective in that uh, uh, moment. Uh, divine spirit, uh, another double the minions to health. That can make my light spawn get up to 20 if I use both of them at the same turn, so that is definitely going to be useful um, if I can use that. Now here, I do enjoy using charge. Um, to do extra damage or whatever uh, quickly, but I think I'm gonna go with spell damage just because I'm a mage or I'm a priest, so I've got magic y type stuff. Um, actually, wait, do I? Uh, wait a minute. I don't actually have anything that. Uh, or actually, yeah, here, I do have Holy Smite, so uh, the spell damage would be helpful there. Uh, uh, Fairy Dragon can be targeted by spells of hero power, so that's pretty good. Um, Enrage plus three attack because it's got so little health. Uh, and such a little attack, it's not that great. Although for two mana, it's probably pretty good. But I'm going to stick with the Fairy Dragon, uh, just because I prefer that card. Uh, now here, the Harvest Golem. I've heard good things about it, that it is pretty good. However, I've never been that intimidated by it. Deal 5 damage to enemy hero, that can be powered up by the spell damage. However, Mind Vision, in my opinion, is probably going to be a little bit better. Uh, because that gives me a card that my opponent has, and that's going to be helpful because I'm terrible at picking cards. Um, so, Silence a Minion, also pretty good. Uh, deal 3 damage during the split between all other characters, not very good. Uh, summon a 1 1 Merlin Scout, pretty decent if you know what you're doing, but I'm going to go with the Silence because that's going to be good at disabling enemies. Uh, another Mind Game, that's great. Uh, pirate Tap plus 1 1, I don't have any other Pirates. Big Game Hunter, destroy Minion with an attack of 7 or more. That is really good, and I probably should use that. But I kind of want to use mind games again. But uh, because I've already got more tier 4 cards, I'm going to go with uh, Big Game Hunter because it's only 3. Uh, and another light spawn would be pretty good. However, a dark scale healer, because I've already got two light spawns, and in Arena you can have more than two of a single card. Um, so let's see, the Mokshan Warden is also pretty good. Uh, but I think I'm going to go with the Dark Scale Healer, uh, just because it does heal you, so other cards that synergize with healing is good and all that. Um, give a minion, uh, friendly minion, plus three health. Definitely going to use that over Taunt, even though I, I should get more Taunt. But giving a friendly minion three health, specifically a Light Spawn, would be really helpful. Um, and here, Taunt and all that. So I'm going to go with the Lord of the Arena as my Taunt, um, just because I need a really strong Taunt rather than just some little 2-2 two -two taunt. Uh, copy two cards from your opponent's deck and put them into your hand. Again, really useful, because I'm sure my opponent has better cards than me. Um, and again, I'm going to use another mind control, because uh, the other two cards weren't very good. Not sure if I quite want three mind controls. I do need some better minions uh, lower down, so I think I'm going to go with a Bloodfin Raptor instead. Um, and of course, another uh, mind control. I'm going to go with the Stealth because that might be a little bit more helpful um, because that ensures basically that's going to survive around long enough to attack uh, so that's going to be pretty good in my opinion uh, holy nova i really enjoy that card deal two damage to all enemies restore two health to, uh, to all friendly characters that's really good uh, shadow word pain destroy minion with three attack or less also really good divine shield pretty decent as well but i'm gonna go with holy nova um, let's see now and I'm going to go with a Wisp, because that gives me zero, uh, it's a zero mana cost, so if I've got um, my, where is it, uh, my Questing Adventurer, where, yeah, here it is, Questing Adventurer, uh, because it has zero mana cost, I can play that to increase his stats, uh, without really having to sacrifice playing anything else. So, uh, Cabal Shadow Breeze, take control of an enemy minion that has two or less attack. I don't really want to take control of something that has two or less attack, even though I'm sure that can still be useful sometimes. Uh, mind games, and again, shadow form, or the heal, then do two damage. Uh, mind games, definitely gonna prefer that. So, that took, wow, that took like 10 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep playing. I uh, didn't realize that took so long, but, um, alright, so this is gonna be kind of a long episode, uh, and I'm probably gonna be posting another Hearthstone video after this one. I'm not entirely sure when I'm uploading this one, probably gonna be uploading it Wednesday. Um, so then Thursday, I might be posting an episode that 
uh, I recorded earlier than this, so I'm not 100% sure whether or not I should just scrap those episodes and start off here, or what I should do. Leave your comments, or leave your thoughts in the comments below. Um, and this is playing against another player, it's not some computer or something. Now, again, <laughs> mind control, really helpful, but right now I need lower lower cost cards. So, gonna replace those and see what I get. That's decent, I suppose. Um, that's pretty good. Lower cost cards, so that's nice. Um, greetings, do -do. Greetings, greetings to you as well. Uh, now, I don't play as a priest very often, obviously. Um, so, let's see. You can use uh, Mind Vision to get a card from his hand. Uh, right? Mind Vision is a card from his hand? Yeah. Hm, interesting. Uh, let's see. Let's look at this again. Uh, from your opponent's hand. Yeah. Okay, just make it sure. Uh, wasn't sure exactly where I was thinking it. So now I know they have a wind speaker, which is kind of nice to know, I suppose. Um, let's see. Ooh, can I do it again? Uh, I think I will. I think I'm going to use another mind vision. And depending on which card I get from him, could get another wind speaker, actually, which would be kind of lame. Alright, hex. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, because now. I'm going to use my Fairy Dragon, because that I know that he has Hex, um, but he can't use it on my Fairy Dragon because of uh, its ability. Now, uh, having a 2-3 uh, minion isn't too amazing, especially when I can just use my minion to kill it. Um, and he's got a Demolisher, which is pretty decent, I suppose. And, yep, he's going to attack it to get rid of it, which I don't mind. Uh, now, I kind of want to use this on that card, but I don't really need to. It's not too powerful. So what I'm going to do instead, uh, I'm going to use a light well. Uh, and I'm trying to stay calm and think about all this um, to make sure that I'm making the right decision, even though I'm sure that talking about it and thinking about it is going to just kind of not delay the game, but um, just gonna make it take longer, I guess. Uh, so I apologize to the person that's um, on the... Uh, I'm apologizing to my opponent, even though they can't exactly hear me. Um, and of course, because this restores the health that I just lost, which is pretty awesome. And, ooh, this is good. Uh, so, uh, play the Questing Adventurer, deal two damage to this guy, uh, which is pretty nice, because then that raises him up to a 3-3. Three, three. Um, and of course, that's going to do some damage. However, because it's the only damaged uh, character, uh, friendly character, um, the light well should heal itself uh, at the beginning of the next turn, which would be pretty helpful. Um, and that's interesting. Unbound element. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, let's see. Ooh. So now yeah, he's got two damage there. Uh, oh, so he's probably going to get rid of the questing adventure right now. Yep, but at least it did some damage to him before it died, so that's nice. Uh, let's see. I would like to use the Wind Speaker to give a friendly minion Wind Fury, but I don't really have a minion to use Wind Fury on. Uh, now, to get rid of that one would be really nice. Uh, I'd say that probably might be worth using um, a Hex. Not really sure. I'm gonna place a Wisp. Um, just because that would be nice, I suppose. And uh, that eh, it was helpful, I suppose, because that basically just was cannon fodder for its, for the demolisher. But uh, that means I don't have any minions I can attack, which means that the wind fury is kind of useless. Um, let's see. I'm glad I still. I'm so glad that I uh, used the hex on that opponent, because the overload uh, would have just been brutal. Uh, not really brutal, I suppose. Depends on what card you picked, but uh, the overload just would have been increasing his minion's attack power uh, and health, I think. Uh, I don't remember what card that was, um, or what exactly says. Yeah, gain plus one one for each overload. Uh, and that's something that the shaman does. Uh, see, that would have been plus three to his, uh, to his minion right there. Uh, so let's see what am I going to do, because that is a really strong minion that I wish I could hex at the moment. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I want to use this with two minions on the side, but I guess I'm just going to use it with one. Um, and I don't want to double this minion's health because that'd be great, that'd be helpful, but um, I want to use that on a light spawn. Uh, 
So I'm not going to do anything with that. This is kind of lame. I'm not doing very good at the moment. Because I'm not getting two great cards. Uh, although I might not have very great cards to use. If I had a light spot, that'd be awesome. Although, I sh yeah, there it is. I was going to say, I should remember that he has a hex. Uh, because I took that from his hand. So, that's kind of lame. But, uh, let's see. Ah, not doing very good. Ah, uh, whatever character's healed, that's nice. Um, In the light. yeah, I'm gonna use that to increase its health, or you know, increase its attack power. Um, so that's good. I don't want to attack with my Defender of Argus, however, it did just take some damage uh, from the Demolisher, and that's kind of why I didn't want to attack with it, because then that gives um, the Demolisher a, l a little extra target um, to potentially hit. Uh, now he might just use that. Nope. All right. So he's using that to attack it. He's using his own um, character, his own weapon. Uh, ooh, that's really powerful. Should have remembered that he had that. Uh, so now that minion does 14 damage, basically, uh, which is really powerful. Uh, although I could take him down, and I, I will in the next turn. Although I'm going to be dead soon <laughs> because he has a lot of power. Wow. All right. So. Uh, let's see, uh, yeah, this should be good. Alright, so I'm gonna give, um, this one, Wind Fury, uh, and then Divine Spirit, um, so that it's able to survive that attack. Then I'm gonna heal it, so that my Light Warden gains, uh, attack power, which is pretty helpful. Um, which I probably didn't need to do, because now I need to get rid of his attacks. Uh, that's... Uh, not gonna be good enough. Alright. So, on the field, yep. Alright. That's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, well, not right now, but, um... Yeah, I was somewhat close to making a comeback. Uh, obviously I didn't pick very good cards, and I didn't get very good cards. Um, but I thought that was a decent play right there, to get rid of them. Um, so, even though I lost... Nope. Alright, didn't level up. Because um, that was my first time playing as a priest, and you do get uh, experience from playing the arena. So, after I lose three times, then that's it. Um, and I'll explain if I actually do win, or at the end of this next two episodes or whatever, um, what happens. But anyways, uh, you don't have to play all the games at once, uh, which is really nice. I can just pause or whatever. But um, that's going to be it for this episode. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.